this kid's show. It was called Candle Co. And it must have been six or seven. I never found reverence to it anywhere, so I think it was on a local TV station around 1971 or 1972. I lived in Ironton at the time. I don't remember which station, but I do remember it was on a weird time, like 4, 4 o'clock p.m. It seems really familiar to me. Um, I grew up outside of Ashland and was 9 years old in 72. Candle Cove, um, was it about pirates? I remember a pirate marionette at the mouth of the cave talking to a little girl. Yes, okay, I'm not crazy. I remember Pirate Percy. I was always kind of scared of him. He looked like he was built from parched by their dolls. Really low budget. His head was an old porcelain baby doll. It looked like antique that didn't belong on the body. I don't remember what station this was. I don't think it was WTSF though. Sorry to resurrect this old thread, but I know exactly what you mean, Sky Shale. I think Candle Cove ran for only a couple months in 71, not 72. I was 12 and I watched it a few times with my brother. It was channel 58, whatever station that was. My mom would let me switch to it after the news. Let me see what I remember. It took place in Candle Cove and it was about a little girl who imagined herself to be friends with pirates. The pirate ship was called the Laughing Stock, and Pirate Percy wasn't a very good pirate because he got scared too easily, and there was calliope music constantly playing. I don't remember the girl's name. It was Janice or Jade or something. I think it was Janice. Thank you, Jared. Memories flow back when you mentioned the Laughing Stock on Channel 58. I remember the bow on the ship with a wooden smiley face with a lower jaw submerged. It looked like it was swallowing the sea like it had an awful Ed Whit voice and laughed. I especially remember how jarring it was when they switched from the wooden plastic model to a foam puppet version of the head that talked. <laughs> I remember now too. Uh, do you remember this part, Shasel? You have to go inside. Oh, Mike. I got the chills reading that. Yes, I remember. That's what the ship always told Percy when there was a spooky place he had to go in, like the cave or in a dark room, where all the treasure was. And the camera would always push on the laughing stock's face with each pause. You have to go inside. With its two eyes, and that floppy foam jaw, and that fishing line that opened and closed it. Ugh, it just looks so cheap and awful. You guys remember the villain. He had that face that was just a handlebar mustache above. Really tall, narrow teeth. I honestly, honestly thought the villain was Pirate Percy. I was about five when the show was on. Nightmare fuel. And that wasn't the villain, the puppet with the mustache. That was the villain's sidekick, Horace Horrible. He had a monocle too, but it was on top of the mustache. I used to think it meant he only had one eye. But yeah, the villain was another marionette. The Skin Taker. I can't believe what they let us watch back then. Jesus H. Christ. The Skin Taker. What kind of kid's show were we watching? Seriously, I could not look at the screen when the Skin Taker showed up. He just descended out of nowhere on his strings. Just a dirty skeleton wearing that brown top hat and cape. And his glass eyes that were too big for his skull. Christ almighty. Wasn't his top hat and coat all sewed up crazily? Was that supposed to be children's skin? Yeah, I think so. I remember his mouth didn't open and close, his jaw just slipped back and forth. I remember the little girl said, why does your mouth move like that? And the skin taker didn't look at the girl, but at the camera and said to grind your skin. I am so relieved that other people remember this terrible show. I used to have awful memories. A bad dream I had where the opening jingle ended and the show faded in from black and all the characters were there. But the camera was just cutting to each of their faces and they were just screaming and the puppets and the marionettes were fading specially and just all screaming. Screaming. The girl was just moaning and crying 
like she had been through for hours of this. I woke up any time from this nightmare. I used to wet the bed when I had it. I don't think that was a dream. I remember that. I remember that was an episode. No, no, no. Not possible. There was no plot or anything. I mean literally just standing in place, crying and screaming for the whole show. Maybe I'm manufacturing the memory because you said that, but I swear to God, I remember seeing what you described. They just screamed. Oh, God, yes. The little girl, Janice, I remember seeing her shake. And the skin taker screaming through his gnashing teeth, his jaw careening so wildly I thought it would come off its wire hinges. I turned it off and that was the last time I watched. I ran to tell my brother and we never had the courage to turn it back on. I visited my mom today at the dressing home. I asked her about when I was little, in the early 70s, and when I was 8 or 9, and if she remembered a kid's show, Candle Cove. She said she was surprised I could remember that, and I asked why. And she said, because I used to think it was so strange that you said, I'm going to watch Candle Cove now, Mom. And then you would turn on TV to static and just watch dead air for 30 minutes. You had a big imagination with your little pirate show. <laughs>